Hello, world, and welcome to the second episode of Kerbal Rocket School. This episode will cover advanced VAB controls. I will teach you various tips and tricks to make building your ship easier and faster. I also want to note that this episode will be a quick one, as there will be no hands-on section, nor will there be real-life science time. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we are on the VAB. I'm going to go ahead and load up the ship we made last time, and we're going to mess around with it. On the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see a few buttons. These buttons toggle on and off the center of lift, thrust, and mass visual cues. These cues give important information when designing rockets and planes. Center of lift only pertains to winged craft, and will be discussed in a later episode. Center of thrust shows the average locations of all the engines on your rocket, as well as the direction these engines will push your rocket. It is important that this cue is in the center of your craft, otherwise it will fly out of control. Center of mass, or center of gravity, is the average location of all the mass in your ship. It is important that it is at the center of your craft, otherwise your ship will tilt over to one side. Suppose we wanted to add more engines strapped to the side of our main rocket here. What we're going to do is take a small hard point from under structural and aerodynamic and put it on the craft. Then we'll take another fuel tank and another engine. Then we'll go to the other side and do, do the same. As you can see, it's not exactly balanced well. Doing things like this is a very inaccurate science. And although some may say it's the Kerbal way, you won't get anywhere without a balanced rocket. If we want to keep our rocket balanced, we can use this button up here. This is the symmetry button, and when it's activated, any changes you make on one side of the rocket will be mirrored on the other. You can have symmetry by 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. As you can see, even with symmetry on, it's hard to get the engine part on a nice, eye-pleasing angle. To change this, you can use the Snap to Angle button located at the top left of your screen. With it activated, any objects you add onto your ship will snap to nice, even angles. If you ever need to put a part on sideways, upside down, or at a weird angle, you can use the W, A, S, D, Q, and E keys to move a part or group of parts around while having them selected. If you want to make finer adjustments, you can hold Shift. If you want to copy sections of your ship, you can hold Option and click on the parent part of that section and then move it around. If you make a mistake, you can use Ctrl or Command Z to undo something. You can also use Ctrl or Command Y to redo an undone action. Now let's say you built a rocket in the VAB, but want to launch it from the runway, or vice versa. To do this, follow these directions. Open up your Kerbal Space Program directory in either Windows Explorer or Finder. I'm on a Mac, but it'll look about the same way either way. You're going to go to Saves, your save file, and then Ships. You're going to want to open VAB up in one window, and SPH in the other. Then you can simply move your crafts from one building to the other. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you out there.